You talk about Apple's narrow focus as a source of strength. Why is that? In general, we tend to think about uh, companies who can stay focused as being more successful, often because they can be more innovative in the sense that they can make investments. They, they truly understand whether Apple wants to tell you that they are responding to customers. They do understand what customers do want, care about, how they interact with the technology. And the, the knowledge that they generate helps them fuel those innovations they can stay focused in the sense that their resources are directed towards a more narrowly defined set of opportunities. They can refine their product development, development processes, their marketing processes, their HR, finance, and accounting processes to match the kinds of things that they are good at and focusing on within the firm, as opposed to taking relatively generic approaches that you would have to if you're very broad and, mm -hmm. and invested in a number of different industries. Uh, so, so in general, firms can be more successful. and. And the products that come out of firms who are more focused tend to be more innovative, they tend to be more high quality, they tend to be more received well by, by the public, mm. is uh, typically what we, what we see. There's issues around like the true breakthroughs, where the breakthroughs might need to come from firms who've got a little bit more breadth, who can kind of recombine broader knowledge to some extent. And so maybe there's ways in which breakthroughs kind of are a little bit of a challenge, but for the most part, we tend to see the, the best stuff coming out of firms that can be more focused, that can be true and driven by a, a passion for whatever it is that they do at that point in time. Of course, being focused and being narrowly defined creates risks for organizations mm -hmm. because it basically becomes comes down to having all your eggs in one basket, more or less, in the sense that as long as you're really good at it and as long as whatever it is that you're really good at stays relevant for the consumers uh, and, and for the market, you will continue to be successful. But it, that focus can mean that you sometimes discard opportunities that might have actually been pretty good ones because you mm -hmm. want to stay focused. And those ones that might have been good ones but you discarded might actually end up being the ones that kind of replace your industry at some point in time if you're not careful. And so one of the reasons that firms will often invest in multiple things and will diversify is to manage risk because it means that the organization is less likely to be reliant upon one area for its, its revenues and, uh, its, and its profits. And so if you're thinking about firm survival as kind of an outcome that you're, that you're managing, maybe not what shareholders fixate on as much, but certainly what managers and CEOs focus on a lot, then focusing too much can create real risks for the organization mm. at that point.